Hello all and welcome to today's beer review, which I am going to dub just another lazy Friday beer review. Just another lazy Friday. Finally got my drain cleaned out though. It's kind of a pain in the butt because I can't dissemble it, so I have to go and use a pipe cleaner. Several pipe cleaners actually to kind of clean out my drain. Yeah, it's really weird. But what is it that we're going to be reviewing today? Well, I've kind of tapped out Tamura, so I've started going to Foodland. And um they have a different distributor, so there's a lot of things there that aren't sold at Tamora's or Safeway. I think Safeway and Tamora's have the same distributor, just from the kind of liquors I've seen there. But, yeah, this is from 21st Amendment Brewery. Uh, I don't know where they're located. New York, maybe? Let's go and see here. Is it on the can? San Leandro. San Leandro, California. And I got this one because... I am a huge fan of pomegranate. So I have pomegranate up there. I already have one already like peeled and assembled to eat later tonight. Um, it's pomegranate season. I am a massive fan of pomegranate. So of course, this attracted me. Now there was only two cans left on the shelf and I think, you know, the date code is just random numbers. So I think this is actually pretty old since there was only two cans left on the shelf. One was fairly dented, but I couldn't restrain myself because pomegranate. So this is a fruited wheat beer at 4.9 ABV. So even though it's probably a bit past date, it is the ABV that uh, ABV level that I like, and it's not an IPA. <laughs> so. Um, without much further ado, let's just get straight to this, shall we? Hmm. So, a opalescent straw yellow, maybe yellow orange, fairly light colored, with a thick fluffy white head. It has pomegranate there, but it's not an overwhelming note. Interestingly, it also has that sort of um, sweet tart smell that I sort of associate with kettle sours. Crackery to bready malts. Yeah. Not much in the way of hop in the aroma. I don't think too much pomegranate was added to the brew because pomegranate, as you know, is quite deeply red. This is this has no real red tinge to it, actually. So well enough was added for it to be there in the nose at least. Not enough was added to really affect coloration, I would suppose. On to the palette now, shall we? Interesting. So the pomegranate is mostly expressing itself in the finish. There's that sort of tartness um, as well as pomegranate flavor that kind of explodes in right before the long finish kicks in. It doesn't last through the long finish, but that tartness and juiciness, pomegranate juiciness, is there towards the end of the finish. Up front, got a lot of that um, wheaten funkiness. You know, that wheat malt taste. That I would definitely classify as on crackery. 
especially in the mids. The effervescent top note is mostly of the wheat, the, you know, wheat ale. Pomegranate starts poking his head out there in the mid to finish to really start expressing itself in the finish. And this is interesting to me because usually with these fruited beers, I'm used to it being very much up front, those sort of fruit aromas and fruit flavors. Again, there's some hop bitterness there, but not much in the way of hop aromas. Again, probably just due to the fact that this has been on the shelf for a while. It is fairly refreshing. You can definitely tell it is a very light bodied beer. Yeah, pomegranate right at the finish and into the long finish. It's so strange. It's like after you swallow the beer, that's when the pomegranate really makes itself known. Not much complexity here, but, you know, you basically get a standard wheat ale with the addition of pomegranate, which is something I've never seen a beer fruited with before. And in, it expresses itself in an interesting manner, very beer, very finish, you know, it's not front loaded, it's finish loaded as it were. So, I've seen these around. Uh, one of the reasons I don't go to Foodland and Foodland branch stores all that much for beer is because they don't cycle their beer as quickly as Tamura's does. Which makes sense. Foodland is a grocery store. Tamura's is a liquor store. But, yeah. Just because I want to go and be reviewing things that are not IPAs, I'm probably going to be patronizing them a bit more. It's not to say they don't carry IPAs. I'd still say the majority of the stuff they have on the shelf is, beer-wise anyway, are IPAs. It's just they have a different selection, and um, a lot more things are not IPAs. And yeah, I just want to go and review these things before I have to go and like start reviewing macro loggers. So, if you like pomegranate as much as I do, definitely give this one a shot. If you like wheat ales, um, I'd say it's fairly standard fruited wheat. You know, nothing that's going to blow you away. Gets the job done. Refreshing. And yeah, looking forward to trying more and different beers. Next week I might only have time for one review, just due to the fact that my car is going in for servicing. Um, who knows if, if I might have like a whole bunch of reviews, if my car has like, my car has problems and I'm going to be there for like basically 10 hours, I'm going to go to Lanikai Brewing, which is just down the road because why wouldn't I? I have more than ample time to kill there. And that folks is your beer review for this Friday afternoon. I am going to finish this beer. Have another wheat ale, which is probably what I'm going to be reviewing next week. And um, yeah, 
heat up some leftover pizza. And that, folks, is your beer review for this afternoon. Cheers.